Welcome to educational channel. So in this video, I will explain all the problems of this 11 questions from 2020 a paper. So this exam was conducted on this uh, March 3rd, right? So not only this problem, all the questions I'll explain. And apart from this paper, other papers and other subject previous year's question papers also available in this website. You can go through it, right? Let us solve these problems one by one. So in this paper, quadratic equation. So x square minus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. Give your answer correct to the two decimal places. Okay, to solve this we can apply the formula because factorization is not possible for this. So just to apply the formula. So is the question is according to the given x square minus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. Right? Now we know that uh, formula to take. Okay, we take the formula and write that is minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is to find the value of x plus or minus. Once you take plus, we'll take one value and take minus other value. So your x square coefficient is a. Okay, from this a is equals to 1 because x square coefficient is a and b is equals to x coefficient so minus 7 and c is the constant that is 3 these values will substitute here so in the problem it's integral simple minus b formula minus it is and b value is minus 7 so minus of minus 7 plus or minus under root b square minus 7 whole square is a 14 9 because minus into minus is plus right minus 4 ac 4 into a value is 1 and c is value is 3. This so overall divided by 2a. So 2 into a value is 1. Just you can simplify this. Minus into minus plus 7 plus or minus root 14 9 minus 4 3 is 12 by 2 into 1 is 2. 49 minus 12. 7 is asked is plus or minus 49 minus 12 is 37 by 2 now root 37 value we need to find out so the long division method we can apply for this they are asking up to two decimal places so you can take 1 2 6 zeros because after according to the third decimal you can adjust the second one so to make the round figure so long division complete method i won't explain here just to see the method how to solve 37 okay 6 6 is 36 to find the answer i am doing directly here and subtraction is 1 next set is 0 0 this 6 becomes double and it is uh, more than 121 ones are 120 it's more than that so it's uh, take one more digit and keep the point 0 and you can keep 0 here so long division method concepts already in website you can just go through it and this uh, this place should be filled up 128 okay that is uh, 9664 and 33 60 by subtracting 336 again take next to 2 set 0 Okay, this is 12, 8 becomes plus 8, so 16, and this place, that is 2, so that is uh, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4. So, Nina to the ring, already here 6.082, so third decimal is less than 5, so if it is 5 or more only, you can add the previous one number, right, so 6.08 only you can take, that means this is 7 plus or minus 6.08 divided by 2. That's it. You can take separately now. Once you take plus, once you take minus. So therefore, that is 7. Once you take plus, 6.08 divided by 2 or 7 minus or 6.08 divided by 2. Once you add and subtract. So if you add 13.08 divided by 2, 
or here 7 minus 6.08 that is 0 0.92 right divide by 2 by calculating this say 6.54 because 13.08 divided by 2 and 0 0.92 by 2 is 0 0.46 okay these are the two solutions to find out this x value one is 6.54 and 0 0.46 up to two decimal places so I can't last. Just the formula is important, we need to remember. And see the next one. Given x3, y3 is a matrix. If a square is equal to 3i, i is identity matrix of order 2 by 2, find the x and y. Okay, this still a square. So a into a matrix will multiply. Take this so uh, 1b. Here is the given matrix is A. So that is X3 and Y3 is given. And also they said A square is equal to 3i. Right? A square. That means A matrix you should multiply it again the matrix A. So that is a X3 and Y3. Same you take X3 and Y3. That is equal to 3 into identity matrix. Identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, it's a 2 by 2 order. Now you can just simplify this. If you simplify, you can make the corresponding elements the same. So first row, first column. Okay, x into x. x squared and 3 into y is plus 3y. This normal matrix multiplication concept. Again, in the first row, second column. Okay, x into 3. 3x plus 3 into 3 is 9. Now with the second row, again first column, that is xy plus 3y, again second row, second column, that is 3y plus 9, that is you multiply to 3 inside, 3 is the element, multiply every element in the matrix, 3 1 is 3, 3 0 is 0, again 0, 3. Now you can make corresponding elements are same, so is a 2 by 2 order, this also matrix 2 by 2. So corresponding elements will make it as same. If you same then second one to this second you take. Because we need x and y. They are asking to find out only x and y. That is 3x plus 9 is equals to 0. And this also you can take to this. Corresponding elements. That is 3y plus 9 is equals to 3. That's it. You can get the answer simple. 3x is equals to minus 9. x is minus 9 by 3 that is equals to minus 3 and here 3y is equal to 3 minus 9 3y is minus 6 then it is y is equals to minus 6 by 3 it is minus 2 so therefore finally x is equals to minus 3 and y is equals to minus 2 okay. these are the solution for this just making uh, applying a square same is equal to 3i corresponding elements made at same is our solution see one more third question in this first c using ruler and compass construct the triangle abc ab 3 centimeters bc 4 centimeters so all the construction videos are available in the same site so you can go through but uh, i'll explain just briefly this how to find out exactly radius of the circuit so i'll show AB3 and BC4, angle ABC is 90 degrees. That means angle B at 90. So, okay, I'll show for this one question C. So, it will be this is A, B, and C. So, one just one diagram I do. So, BC we need to, AB is 3 centimeters, BC is 4. So, BC is the 4 now. So, just a 4 centimeters line segment you draw. And at the B, 90 degrees you construct. So, not constructing everything. Now, this is the AB, 3 centimeters. So, extend this and cut this out. Then, these two sides you should bisect. Perpendicular bisecting. BC, just take perpendicular bisecting and down also. So, if you join, perpendicular bisecting will come. Uh, similarly, this AB also you can do perpendicular bisecting. Up and down. If you know already. Down where they'll join from that. This is the center, and uh, 
the center this is a circum circle right just take an o now from this uh, oer obr oc is same just draw the circle now we need to find out the radius of this circle so according to the question write down the radius of the circle so use the radius using scale and find out and divide by 2 radius will come and actually one more thing is if the triangle is acute angle triangle the circum center the circum center will come come inside the uh, triangle if the triangle is uh, obtuse triangle the triangle is obtuse if you draw circum center they will come outside the triangle the circum center will come outside the triangle if it is acute center will come inside the triangle in case if it is right angle triangle exactly the circum center will come on the hypotenuse so on the hypotenuse will come that means ac is uh, nothing but exactly a uh, diameter but we know already this is 3 cm 4 cm if you use pythagoras theorem ac will come is 5 cm because according to that ac square is equals to squares sum of the squares of other two sides right 3 square plus 4 square that is 25 is a 5 square so ac is equals to 5 cm you know that and this is a diameter is 5 means obviously radius half of that so radius is 5 divided by 2 so 2.5 centimeters will come even you can use the scale also just to measure the scale ac distance and you can divide by 2 accurately 2.5 centimeters will come right so radius of the circle in this problem is uh, 2.5 centimeters yes. this is the one question let us see the second problem now